Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of TFT Hyperroll with Artark. Now, I am moving this video from where I was originally going to put it up because even though this video was filmed before 13.7 came out, the build I'm showing in this video is nonsensical now. I have tried it three times since the patch and won each of those three times. I'll show one of those videos at another point, but before we totally get into it, graphic, like, comment, subscribe, yeah, okay. Now, let's get to this insane build. Now, this game started with kind of a nightmare augment situation for me where I get three things I don't want, but it's the low level augment, so I do not like to roll them. I did not feel like going renegade debated with it but at this point just took the thieves gloves as the least offensive option then i saw a sever and realized i had all the elements for infinitim and maybe i can go in that direction because infinitim is really strong and again this was pre-patch where it was then buffed so infinitim has been buffed a little bit as has the second part of this build, which we'll get to as we go. So I put my two star on the portal to get a stronger champion. I put the thieves gloves on Sivir because it gives increased crit chance. And I thought, oh great, I got a ZZ rot. What a waste of a backline item because that's gonna be useless. But that ZZ rot really held it up and allowed me to win this round. Now I find in general, Infinitim is usually a fast start, especially since it's pretty easy to two-star Pantheon and Lucian. So you're going to have some decent champions and then you're getting a duplicate, so you're doing more attacks. I might have gone down in this fight had it not been for the Lucian behind the Lucian with the Jeweled Gauntlet. Now stage four is pretty easy for this build because you're bringing in Sivir and Ash, so you're going to have the two short shots. It's after that that you start running into a little bit of a lull because you're not going to get your next short shot, which is Samira, likely until seven. And since I was having trouble finding a two-star Ash, I decided to bring in an Ezreal and trigger Quick Draw for Lucian because that will help at least through this stage and potentially further in if I'm not able to get a two-star Ash, I can always switch over to Quick Draw. It's now time for our second augment. We still haven't gotten a two-star Ash, but we're getting closer. Healing is really good for this build. Quick Draw Heart, I don't buy even when I'm going Quick Draw because there are four Quick Draws in the game. Once I'm able to pull in a Samira, I am convinced no matter what, now I am going sure shots because she is what you need to really bring it home. This is before she was buffed, so she is stronger than what you will see in this match. And again, I'll be doing another video on this where you can see Samira in her current glory, but essentially you want to load all of your AD items on. Giant Slayer, Last Whisper, Infinity Edge are probably considered the best three. Also, Deathblade works really well. You just want to give her a lot of attack damage and crit and stuff like that. We have an item choice here and keeping those items in mind. It's going to be the sparring gloves because they will match with the bow to create the last whisper, which again, one of the better items for Samira. And even before the buffs to both Infinitim and Samira, I felt that this was a really good comp to get you into the top four. It just often had trouble closing it out. I had mentioned this in my original video for this set. Now I've gone ahead and picked up a Ramus, which may or may not go in next, but I like to have an additional tank because the one part about Infinitim that I find weak is the front line. It has been improved a bit by the increased HP with the new patch. And this is our last individual item choice, and while I would have loved a Samira item, nothing here is really going to fit exactly what I want. So we go ahead and grab the Giant's Belt because then I can put a Warmog's onto Pantheon. Easy choice here, style and flair. We're going to go ahead and take the Samira hero augment. We need to get her up to two stars. That is going to be 100% essential for this build. And while it's not an optimal item, I've gone ahead and put the Bloodthirster on Samira as 
kind of the best use of those individual components at this point. I could have gone Hextech Gunblade onto Twisted Fate, but I wasn't convinced that was necessarily the best use of that at this time. We managed to two-star our Samira, and it is just in time as this fight will show. It looks good when it starts, but then leave it to Misfortune to do a wave-clearing ult, which clears out the entire team except for Samira, but she is able to hold on for the win. It's time for an item choice, and the Spear of Sojin will definitely work on Twisted Fate. And if we can two-star the Twisted Fate, he will end up on that portal instead of Sivir, since he is overall a stronger unit. And lo and behold, we did two-star the Twisted Fate, so he goes on the portal. And what's great about the portals, as I've pointed out before, is that they give them good items for their class. Twisted Fate ended up with a Static Shiv, which is an excellent item item for him. And this is almost an Animaniacs team except that they chose to go with 6 Anima Squad instead of Gnar as the third prankster. That third prankster is key because it will cause you to be stunned when you hit the training dummy. When you don't get that stun, other teams can get through you and that will lead us into the top 4. This also gives us our last sure shot, which is Ezreal, who can go in instead of Lucian, since he will also be an Infiniteam, and then we will put Garen into the game, as that will really solidify the front line, which, as I mentioned before, is the weak part of Infiniteam. Now we have two more items to choose from, and I am thinking Ezreal items, so I'm going to go ahead and grab Deathblade, for that one, then we just need to open the anvil after we get Garen in. And while I was hoping for a really solid AD item, it's not there, so I will go for a little bit more frontline in terms of distraction. So the ZZ Rot will take care of us if and when Ramus ultimately goes down, it will leave something behind for the other team to chew on. Here we go with another Anima Squad team, but they are at the full seven anima squads due to their emblems so misfortune is going to be doing a ton of damage but our Ezreal that ult is really strong and once Samira can break through she is an ace and so she's able to take things out and we are now down to a 1v1 but this is not a one and done match first off this is an Oxlinger team which was very very powerful still is but this wasn't a really strong build against it at that time so it's really a positioning war to see who can come out ahead one of the keys is that i'm hoping to either three star the samira or two star the ezreal and get him on the portal because he is going to be gaining a lot of power now of course you can see that this is completely glitched so I can't see what I'm fighting, how much health it has, where I'm doing okay, and where I'm not. I just know that I lost that fight. Not quite sure exactly how or what I need to fix, because I couldn't see it. But we get our two-star Ezreal, so it's time to move Ezreal onto the portal, so we get two two-star Ezreals. With the two-star Ezreal on the portal, we're going to get two of them, which will mean lots of Ezreal ults going all at once. But again, this was pre-Samira sure shot buffs. So she is not as strong here as she is now. And you can see that as she is just not able to cut through things, even with the last Whisperer, she is not able to break through that Annie in time, goes down, and it's one life left. I rolled like crazy to try to find the one Samira I needed because I have a champion duplicator, but I need one more so I can get to gold, but I cannot find her. She's just not there. Gary left his desk. So I have to hope that we're able to survive this and then maybe find it in the next round. Again, we're doing really well. Then our team just goes down. Samira, though, manages to hang on for the win this time. Now luck plays a role here in a different way. As much as I was trying to find the three star Samira, the opposing player was trying to find a three star Janna and sold most of their team to try to get it. So they are left now with three Jannas. 
that is not enough to take this down. It will do a lot of damage, but Ezreal can wipe it, Samira can finish it, and it's GG to everyone. Again, I'm going to do another video of this build to show how much it's improved since this. Give it a try, and as always, hope you have an absolutely, absolutely awesome day.